Hello, this is Jeff at Quarter and today we're talking about using the Fataba, the 14SG, with the Movi M15, and also using the um, Gentwire switch to control start-stop. We use a control iris, and there's actually a lot of things you can do with the Red Remote to control also. I think right now we're using um, ISO. Um, anyway, so first we have to um, do a couple things to the radio. All right, this is the Fataba, the 14SG, and we're just going to show um, how we map the different channels. So if we hit this button, we get our servo display. So channel one is our aileron, so that's our pan. Tilt is channel two. Channel three is for our pan rate. Channel four we're actually using for iris. Channel five we're using this switch. This is for our mode switch for the Mobi, so off, majestic, dual operator, majestic, back off again. Channel six, we're using for our tilt rate. This is the slider on the left-hand side. Um, so all the way down, all the way up. Channel seven, we're using for our start and stop for the red. So this, we're using this switch here. So off, on, and off again. For channel eight, we're using our, um, it's the SB switch right here, three percent switch. This we're actually mapping to one of the uh, red remote users. And um, also, if you go to the next screen, for channel 9, we're using this left dial. This is for our roll trim. And for channel 10, that's switch SA. This is another switch we had to use that we're actually going to mix to this switch for also those red remote users. Um, so anyway, if we go into the functions, we can just take a peek at that again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, we haven't changed anything. Channel 5, gear, that was SE for that one. Channel 6. That is the left slider. Channel seven, auxiliary one. That was this one. Channel eight, auxiliary two was SB. Channel nine, which we called auxiliary three, was the left dial right here. And channel 10, auxiliary four, was the SA. Um, as far as um, endpoints, I had to change some stuff for channel seven. So if we go into your endpoints, go down to channel seven, you'll see I changed my limit on the low end from 100 to zero, on the high end from 100 to 70, and also on the sub trims for channel seven, I dialed that down to minus 240. Um, the reason I did that is if you go in back to the servo display for channel seven, um, off is minus 35, on is minus 105. So that's gonna um, tell the gent wire to either um, start recording or um, go standby. The other thing I had to do was a program mix for the uh, red remote user functions. So um, what we want to do is go into the program mix. Um, I just, whoops, I just chose the first one. And what I had to do here was change this one to um, 50, 50, and then on the next screen, this um, comes to fault to inhibit, just change that to on right there. And then master as auxiliary four, which is S A, and the slave is auxiliary two, which is SB. And what's going on there is if we go back to our servo display, here's channel eight. SB runs channel eight from minus 100 to plus 100. With the mix with um, this switch, we're doing the same channel eight, but instead of minus 100, 100, we're just doing the plus 50 to minus 50. So we get um, four different commands out of channel eight. Um, so anyway, that pretty much concludes the Fataba. And um, yeah, now we'll just go into how we wired everything up. All right, this is our um, jet wire cable. And this is the Red Pro, they call it the 102. And I'm using the Fataba. This is the 7008 SB receiver. So on, you have three servo cables and they're labeled one, two, and three. One is the start and stop, which we map to channel seven. So this first wire is going into channel seven on the 7008 receiver. Number two was our iris control, which we went to channel four on the 7008. And the last one, channel three, that was our red remote functions that we were using coming off of channel eight. So that would be the last one right there. And also this um, cable just plugs into your control port on your red brain um, right there. All right, this is the Mobi configurator. This, um, we're using the Nexus tablet. Um, so as far as um, the channels, um, we wanna go into configuration, remote controller config, 
and we're just going to go from top to bottom. So radio type, this is the Vitaba, so you want to choose S bus. Flow remote mode, that's channel 5. Um, that's the off, the majestic and um, dual operator switch. For remote pan, we have 1. For pan rate, we have minus 3. For remote tilt, we have channel 2. For tilt rate, minus 6. And for roll trim, we're using 9. Um, that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, for the movie configurator, um, obviously, definitely make sure that you have this in SBUS. Um, all right. All right, so another step you have to do is you actually have to configure the red brain to talk to the, <clears throat> the Gentwire switch. So for this, um, we'll just go into the menu, and let's go into settings, and let's go into setup and communication. So um, go over to the second tab, it's called serial. What you're gonna wanna see is the red link command protocol. And what that's gonna do is um, set you up for the start stop and also the iris when you control it with that left stick, the, uh, the rudder stick. Now for all the red remote functions, um, we're gonna go back. And once again, we're gonna go into setup. We're gonna go into keys. And over here, we're gonna hit advanced. And then we're gonna go look for our red remote. So hit red remote. Now these are the user keys. So those two switches are triggering um, remote A, remote B, C, and D press. So go down here, it's kind of at the bottom of the menu, and you're looking for remote user A press, which we have set to the ISO increase. On the flip side of that switch is remote D press, which was the ISO decrease. On the other switch, the SA, <clears throat> that would be the remote B and C press. So um, the switch going up is remote user B press, which is the iris open. And the switch going the other direction was the remote C press. And once again, that would be the iris close. Now the thing with those two switches is pretty much everything on this menu here you can control. I just did iris and um, ISO for this demonstration, but um, just go through this list, um, see if there's anything specific you would like to change remotely, and by all means dial it in and um, have at it. Um, yeah, there's there's quite a bit of stuff in this list. Um, but yeah, so um, the one thing also with this switch is when you first turn it on, you wanna make sure these two switches are in the middle position. If you start these up and one is up, one is down, a lot of times that will overload the switch and it won't work. It's um, happened to me in a couple jobs. Just remember when you turn on the movie for the first time and the camera, just make sure these two switches, the start standby isn't as critical, but these two switches make sure that they're three percent switches, just make sure that they're centered. Yeah, that'll make your life a lot easier. All right, so this is now demonstrating how all this works. So this, once again, was your mode. So this is an off kill mode. So the motors aren't doing anything. Um, this is majestic mode, and then dual operator. Um, once again, this was your pan left and right. This is your tilt down and up. This was your pan right all the way down is super slow. All the way up is extremely fast. This was your tilt rate, so all the way down, tilt super slow, all the way up, tilt super fast. Um, and once again, we had the left dial for the trim for the um, roll. Now, when we go into the functions for the, the Movi, this is what actually starts um, and stops recording. So this is off. We hit that forward. You can see that the Movi starts recording. Once again, hitting it forward turns it off. We now have this, it would be the rudder stick that's controlling our iris. So as we move the stick left and forward, you can see our iris change. We're using a Canon EF lens, it pretty much has to have like the EF lens that you can control iris internally. So if you move the stick all the way down, you can see the iris change extremely fast. If you just bump it a little bit to the left or to the right, it changes quite gradually. And then these are the two switches that we mapped to our red remote. So for the SB, you can see how that is changing our ISO. So one click up changes the ISO one notch. One click down also changes the ISO one notch. 
For the other switch, I have it mapped to the iris. So once again, instead of using this switch, I can just hit that and just um, change a fraction. So just click that up and back to the middle. You can see how the iris opens. And as I go down and center, it changes that. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty slick. Um, I've used this quite a bit in the field. And yeah, really like the iris control on the red. You have a lot more um, liberty as far as shots that you can do. You don't have to land, change exposure anymore. Yeah, it works slick. So anyway, um, yeah, this has been Jeff at Quadricopter, and we'll talk soon.